On a story that we reported three other times in the past seven or eight months, the IMF has doubled down on the story again. And we're going to report it every time they comment on it. But you will not believe how repressive the International Monetary Fund is becoming. And they're assuming power that they do not have. But since we don't live in a land of the rule of law any longer, I don't see how they're going to be stopped. My name is Dave Hodges. I'm the host of The Common Sense Show. We are the show that is freeing America, one enslaved mind at a time. We're brought to you by Keto Elevate. Yes, this is the keto diet. Well, it has keto elements in the diet, but it doesn't require the rigidity. You can have some carbs. You can't go crazy, but you can have some carbs. And you will lose weight because of the keto effects that are involved. 51% off all supplies last. KetoWithHodges.com is where you want to go. KetoWithHodges.com. <clears throat> well, the IMF has said that your social media profile, if it's inappropriate, can be used to deny you credit. Well, wait a minute. Who decides what's inappropriate? Hmm? If, for example, you didn't like a certain nation and you said something about that online, is that inappropriate? Well, I think it's what nation. If you say you hate America, you'll get away with that. But for some other nations, no, you can't say anything. And this is what they're talking about. They're talking about taking your right to freedom of speech, your right to political discourse, political dissent, political support for one party or another, or no party or some view or no view, and they want to take away your rights. And they will hold you hostage by saying you can't get credit if you express the wrong view. Well, what's the wrong view? I'd like to know. IMF, what's the wrong view? Is it that people have a right to self-determination? People have a right to freedom? People have a right to be able to express themselves, live their lives in a way they see fit? Is that what you're opposed to? Are you now determining what we say, what we think, what we feel? Uh, no political discourse at all? No political voice from the people? Is that what you're saying, IMF? Because it sure as hell looks like that's exactly what you're saying. And this is disgusting. And they're international. Who are they to tell a U.S. consumer that you'll be denied credit because we don't like your view? Who are they? They're not in the United States. They have no legitimate authority over us. But again, here we go again, folks. The rule of law is gone. How many ways do I have to prove it to you? Where we have international bodies dictating to you what you will believe, what you won't believe, and we'll make it really painful for you if you go against what we want. Pretty disgusting, isn't it? Well, that's it for the Common Sense Show. Please share this far and wide. Uh, we really hope that uh, you'll become a subscriber to the Common Sense Show. Click on that notifications tab. And also, to become a member of what we do at the commonsenseshow.tv, where we have the very best in investigative reporting.